Good morning, scientists. It's Miss Cordova, second grade teacher at Viewlands Elementary. A couple of reminders about going on your walk today is to stay six feet away if you happen to go by a neighbor, wear a mask if you have one, and just make sure that you're being really safe, especially if cars are driving by. Remember, we are on Coast Salish land and waters here in Seattle, so remember to be thinking about that during your walk as well. So this week, what I really wanna focus on is going on some focused walks. Focused walks just means you're going out with kind of a purpose for what you're looking for. So the first focus walk I am taking today is I'm looking for species, kinds of things, and their behavior. So that just means I'm looking for living things, plants and animals, and I'm just going to notice what they're doing, notice where I find things. I'm gonna draw a bunch of pictures and write some words about those things. Okay, so let's get, go ahead and start walking. As I walk, I'm gonna show you what my notes are going to look like today. And of course, I start by putting down today's date. That's always important to put down the date. The time I'm taking my walk. The temperature. And what kind of weather you see. So today, it is a sunny day with some clouds. Okay. So to take notes today, let me show you what I'm doing to take notes today. I'm going to make two columns here and here, and I'm gonna write things I notice, and I'm going to write down things I wonder. And on this side, I'm just gonna draw pictures and take notes about the certain um, plants and animals that I see today. So I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of start walking. And right away, I hear a bunch of birds. So you don't have to see them but I hear some birds and I'm trying to look around and see if I can see any right now. But I definitely hear. And one of the things I notice about those different bird sounds is I notice that um, they're different. I notice there are different bird sounds. Okay, another thing I'm, I can see already is that a lot of these trees in my neighborhood had um, blossoms, white and pink and colorful blossoms on them a couple weeks ago and now they're gone. So I can say that I noticed trees and that um, the blossoms are gone. So that actually is making me wonder how long do blossoms stay onto trees? and what grows next. Okay. Let's see what other kinds of plants and animals I might be able to find on my neighborhood walk today. Oh my gosh, this is so interesting. I wonder if you've seen something like this before. So I think these come from a tree and they're these like spiky, spiky balls really, I don't know how else to describe them. and. Uh, if you look closely, I'm so curious about like what they, what their purpose is, where they come from, because I look above and it doesn't look like they come from the trees right above my head. Oh, but I can see this big tall tree over there that there's like, it looks like maybe it came from there. So this is a, an interesting thing because when you notice the things above you and around you, you might be able to understand a little bit more about where those things come from. So I'm gonna kind of draw a picture of like what this, little thing looks like and when I go back into my home I'm gonna add some more details and I just am really curious like uh, what it's used for what does the tree what's the function that's a word I talked about last week what is the function of this spiky ball I have no name for it so you might notice that I'm seeing a lot more plants. Of course, I see a lot of grass. I can write down that. I see all kinds of trees. I see trees like this that we know bloom all year, or have green all year round, right? I notice these type of trees in my neighborhood and I also notice the trees, the types of leaves that fall. So like pine or evergreen trees maybe, and then I see all kinds of other trees that have blossoms and other green leaves. 
Now, one of the things that I'm not noticing so much in my neighborhood today is a bunch of other animals, but an idea that you could do is maybe kneel down into a garden bed or kneel down into and in, in, like close to the dirt and see if you can find any bugs. I know a friend was telling me she found some earthworms in her yard the other day. I saw some earthworms crying around when I went to the park. Oh, I just think I found something. I found like, maybe that's a little, I think I see a teeny tiny ant. It's probably hard to see, but there's a teeny ant right here crawling around. If you see an organism, it's probably best not to pick it up. There was also something that I saw on my way out here and I saw a, I saw like a shell of a snail. And so I thought it was a snail at first. And then when I kneeled down closer, I realized it was a shell. So another thing when you're looking for types of animals or plants, you don't actually have to see the animal right away. You might notice prints that tell you an animal was there. You might see poop or something that tells you an animal is there. Or in my case, I saw an empty snail shell. So go outside, take a bunch of notes and notice all the different types of plants and animals that you see in your neighborhood. Have a great time on your walk. You done?